So what did you think about that little sequence? Well, uh, that is actually an ad that I have for my Instagram account. And that is what this video is going to be about. How you can do a little video ad uh, that fits the Instagram feed and you can send to people so you can do shout out for shout outs. I am Therese Eriksson and I'm going to teach you inside Premiere Pro how you can do this and how you can create it so it perfectly fits Instagram. So why do you even want to bother to do an ad? Well, it's because you can do shout out to shout outs for with these videos or you can just pay another bigger account to post your ad on their account for several hours or overnight and you can get a lot a lot of new followers by doing this and doing this frequently you can grow like huge <laughs> so that's why i'm going to teach you this because if you get get the right things and the setups uh, with this your account is going to be so good. After you have reached out to the accounts that you actually want to do a shout out for shout out with, you have to have some content to deliver them. And videos, they do best on Instagram. So keep as much as you can to videos. Uh, so what you can do is if you are a content creator and have a lot of videos, you can cut together different parts or different videos and mix it to music and make it feels really good and get the feeling from your account and just show the best clips from your account that that uh, getting the most engagement and that is the the highest uh, quality content you have. If you are a page that only posts pictures, you can also do a video with the pictures that is making it best on your Instagram account. So you can also use it for those kind of things. Uh, so you can cut together like one second each photo. So one second each photo that uh, actually have the best views and the most engagement uh, in your uh, in, on your Instagram account. So you can use that to cut together with music that is really good uh, and just get a feeling. And then in your description, in in the text, you write in the beginning, follow and then at mention your name. Uh, and then you write a little description on what your account is about. And then a call to action again. And this is actually going to get you like grow exponential, <laughs> like huge. You're going to, to grow a lot by doing this. So let's start to actually create a new project. So as you see, I have several, two different projects here. I have one for my clients and one for myself. So to show you how the ad looks like from Martina, you want some that I have created, I will show you here. As you can see, she don't have so much videos in her account. It's mostly actually pictures. So I use pictures and have it for like one second uh, on each clip. And I have chosen the pictures that is really representable for her account. So if you do it for a client or for yourself, you can use a tool or a website called downloadgram.com. So what I do is that I go into Instagram and I found one of my content that I want to download if I don't have it on my desktop. So if I want to download this one, for instance, I press on that, I copy the URL and then I go into downloadgram and download it from here. And I just download it and I save it on a folder on my de desktop. And then I drag it into my project in Premiere Pro. 
If I want to create a new project and don't work with the one I have been doing here, just to show you what kind of sizes I'm using, I create a new sequence and I have Instagram bigger format here. So what I'm using is the frame size of 481 pixels height and the width is 599. So these sizes is actually the best fit for Instagram, for the app itself, because it's going to, you know, take up most space on your uh, screen. So when you scroll down, you are going to see just a huge video. It's just going to pop up uh, because on Instagram, this portrait mode is the best, but you can also do square. But those people who use uh, widescreen, you know, lying, landscape mode. Guys, it's not working, you know, it's it's taking up so little space. You can have like three different posts on the same screen. Uh, so it's use portrait or use a square when you are posting on Instagram. Yes, so we write here test and we go further. When I have downloaded all the material I want to use, I just drag it in and I choose um, some music that I like. Like for instance, in my ad, uh, I really like the beat in the sound. And if you want to get some inspiration on what you can use, there is a ton of royalty free music out on the internet. I have a creator account at Epidemic Sound. So I find my music at Epidemic Sound and I've connected both my YouTube and my Instagram to that account. When you choose the material you are going to use on your Instagram ad, uh, I would suggest you to take the best performing photos and videos that you have uh, and download that and use those because your Instagram ad is going to be the best content and be the best presentative as you can be and show for the, your audience. So for here, for instance, I have 94 likes and 15 comments. So this is a good picture I could use. But I've chosen to only use videos in my ad because I think that is the one that performing best on Instagram. But like here I have 127 likes and 13 comments. So just choose the ones that you have on your account that are the best performing content. And when you have downloaded everything, I would suggest you to do your ad between 20 to 25 seconds. Like mine is actually like 27, but it, it depends on your content. I have videos here. So for me, it feels like I can have a little bit longer because it's all videos. It's happening a lot during the whole post. So the video I showed you before is this one. So that is the piece of content I am promoting and I'm sending out to other platforms. So how do you actually find these platforms? The next thing to do is to actually find accounts that you can do shout out for shout out for or that you can pay to show up on. A suggestion for you is to write a long, long list with accounts that you want to get featured in. So go into different accounts um, that have like 100,000 or 200,000 or 10,000 followers and just make them about, uh, write them up on this list and then go through it and send a request and let them know like, hey guys, I really like your content. Um, do you want to do a shout out for shout out or uh, ask them what they have for rates? What do you, what do you charge uh, if, if I can do a post on your page? And maybe they have uh, set prizes like uh, one hour is this price or two hours is this or overnight is this just ask them and build a connection go in and commenting on their stuff uh, build a relationship with them and they 
probably going to want to, yeah, of course you, you can be featured in our account. So think about when you're creating this one, uh, this ad that it should be really representable about and show what your account is really about. So they are not clicking in and then getting disappointed because the account isn't actually what the ad says it is. And they are getting really surprised by the content that actually is on the account. If you want to get more inspiration and more ideas and connect with people that also want to grow their Instagram account, you can go to my Facebook group, Instagram Success Strategies. Uh, I put up a link in the description, I think. Yeah, somewhere on the screen or in the description. Um, I will put up uh, the link there because there you can apply and go in and connect with people that also want to learn Instagram and we have uh, tools and tactics that will help you to grow your Instagram account. That was everything for me. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash it if you didn't like it. It would break my heart though, uh, but if you didn't like the tips I gave you, you can do that. But also make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you get new content every week and you get to know more about video editing, more about Instagram and how you can you know, build a business that you really can be proud of. Go out there on Instagram and crush it. I would love to hear from you. Send me a direct message or leave a comment on my post. Uh, and until the next video, Ciao!